Morning, you guys. March it out in place. Give me a march. Today we're going to work on a little palmetric moves. Some moves will be on the steps, some will be on the floor, and of course, as usual, I will show you guys every level, every option. Plyometric means that we're going to actually leave the ground a little bit. Scary, I know. Give me a little jog. Now your level is how high you bring your knees up and how fast you want to jog right now, okay? So level one, you might be going like this. Level two, you might be going like this. Level three, you might be going like that. <laughs> So you do whatever works for your warm up. Now plyometric move, it could be anywhere from one foot off the ground at a time to both feet off the ground at a time. Kick your butt, kick your butt. Trick to a nice solid plyometric move is to land softly. Keep those knees slightly bent to absorb that impact. Never go beyond the point where you feel discomfort in your knees, though. Don't go there with it. Kick that butt. Woo. Jack it out. Level one. Level two. Level three. Keep jacking. I'm already warmed up. First little plow move. I'm hitting the step. Okay, goal is a minute per move. I may or may not make it, <laughs> we'll see. Level one, you're just gonna step up and back if you have the step. If you don't have the step, you can do little mini bunny hops like this. That'll work too. Level two, you have one riser. You're hopping up, you're hopping back. Without the step, you're hopping here. Level three. You have double risers and you're hopping faster. Let's go. Up, back, up, back. There you go. Timer's going. Pick your thing, let's go. Next move. You've got about 10 seconds recovery. Level one, reverse lunge, tap it back. Level two, little mini hop. Right there, feet to the front. Level three. Full on, hop it, go. Again, I'm not going really deep on this. But you can. I just have a particular go on my legs. And depth is not it. You gotta do what feels good for you. Depth does not feel good on my 40 year old knees. But that doesn't mean I can't do it means I modify my depth. Level one, you're gonna go forward and back. Forward, pivot, I'm pivoting on my left foot, okay? Level two, little mini hop, I'm swinging my arms. Level three, twist from the waist, give me a full on 180 turn, go. working on it for a minute. I love this one. It works the waist, works your core. Again, I'm not going for depth here, but you can, but that's tough to do for a minute. Do what works for you. I'll do what works for me. Time to get the arms involved. You can do this on the floor or the step, doesn't matter. Level one, you're gonna step up, up, back, back. Up, up, back, back. Level two, you're gonna jump it out. Pick your spot, let's go. Jump it in, jump it out. Level three, all the way up in the pike, all the way out in the plank. Up, out, up, out. Now remember, Here's an option. Only one foot is leaving at a time. Okay? Pike to plank. 30 seconds. Oh, wow. Now, remember that little thing I 
set about showing you the difference between a box jump and a squat jump. <laughs> Stop. Well, I'm about to show you. But here's the deal. One full minute of squat jumps is so hard. It is so hard. So I'm gonna show you some levels and I can't go very deep again, knees prevent me. So squat jump, level three, you're touching the floor. Level one, your hands are right at about your knees. Level two, sorry. Level one, you're right here. Go, go. I'm going to about my knees. I'm hitting about a level two. Now, every 15, 20 seconds, I'll tell you to pause. You take the break if you want. Pause, only if you want. I'm feeling pretty good, go. Woo, I know if you're hitting the floor, you're feeling it. Pause, only if you want. Try to hit that last 15 seconds with me right here. I'm getting it engaged to the touch. Ah! Five seconds. Uh, uh, done. Whew. Let's get a break. I need a knee pad because of concrete floors. You may or may not. Now you need to watch carefully. Level one. You're gonna hold a plank. Whew. You're gonna step in to the center. Step those hands out wide. In. Out, in, out, okay? Level two, you're gonna go in, out, in, out. Level three, go. You're hitting a push up on the way down. Now, everybody's wrists may not be able to take it. Not with the plyo. My wrists are perfectly fine. I'm giving that little push up. My hands land in the center. I'm 30 seconds in. Whoa. Fantastic. Bring it around to the front. Shake out those arms as you bring it up. Deep breath with me. I want a big chest expansion up. All the way out. All the way up. All the way out. Take that one more breath for me. All the way up. And all the way out. Fantastic plyometric workout, you guys. Expect the legs to feel this tomorrow. That is perfectly normal. It will get better the more you do it. You'll feel your inner thighs, quads, tush, calves. Maybe even hopefully you'll feel it in that core because we touched on the core as well. You guys keep at it. Fantastic workout, and I will see you later.